In the 1960s and 70s, minority players and white players weren't always treated equally. Certain positions, you saw no black players. Most offensive lines, you had white players. Uh, quarterback position, there were none. I came in the league uh, in 1967. We used to say, well, we can have a convention of the, the black offensive linemen in a phone booth. It was just wasn't that many of us doing it. And the Raiders, behind these blockers, show up so they block out the sun. We went into many of the predominant black schools to take a lot of the players. We called it an untapped reservoir. We wanted to win. We wanted the best players. We weren't interested in who they were or exactly where they came from. That included Eldridge Dickey, the first African-American quarterback to be drafted in the first round. Gosh, that was a huge step for Al Davis. There was so much against him for that. They had tapped and got tackles and receivers, but here you're talking about a position where it has been orientated that this, quote, black man cannot lead. I could see what he was seeing. I could see him seeing beyond complexion. Al was saying, let it go. You're stifling the growth of the game. Almost two thirds of the NFL players are black, but there has never been a black head coach in pro football. The decisions as to who gets to play and who gets to coach are made by white owners and white general managers. I just don't know that owners have looked at black coaches as people they can be comfortable with. But those white traditionalists who controlled the game are being replaced by more pragmatic owners led by Al Davis of the Los Angeles Raiders. I, I think if any guy will be able to do it, it would probably be Al Davis. I'm for you, Al. My hat's off to you. I've always said it's not important to be consistent. It's important to be right. In 1989, Davis made Art Shell the first African-American coach of the modern era. One thing you got to understand is the only way to play this game is you got to get down in the dirt and get nasty. Let's go. He said, but I want you to know one thing. I'm not hiring you because you're black. I'm hiring you because I feel that you are the best possible candidate for this job at this time. In his Raider debut, he is no longer the first black coach in the NFL. He's just a winning coach right now.